Both of blades. That's it. I'm gonna kick your ass. Then I'm gonna reenact kicking your ass. I'm not messing around. I have proven I can kick your ass. And now, the main attraction. Finally, a worthy <laughs> Hey there. Now what? Now what do I do? This? This? Sounds like you need a flame shot. <laughs> Would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm blocking it. I have 30 life. I don't want to lose that. Now what? A fan? We're going to play a fan? Bam, bam. You're playing a fan? Ba -ba -boom. Ah. Why are you playing a fan, my dude? What do I do here? Ow. Oh my goodness. Look at my land going. I need to prove that I'm better than Knight. Good luck with that. Yeah. And I find it hard to say no 
I mean, that was a thing, yeah. Yeah. That definitely uh, put me in the spot here. is just so like relatable she's like ugh and i love it <laughs> um liliana is the best at making weird faces and good oh my god Jenna is the king of weird faces. Oh. I swear. Drizzit. Dritzed and Liliana take the cake on that one. They're prom king and queen of weird faces. I will always be the one that's right here sitting by your side. Open up your heart and let me in. I promise not to break you. I'm in some trouble, guys. Yeah. You got this. Heart of the cards. So I could do this.
Knight, how uh, how big of a smile you got on your face over there? I'm not smiling. I'm just thinking. I'm making you think. That's pretty good. My deck is illegal. Now, do you have a lava axe? Because if you do, I regret all choices. Oh my. Nasty. This is why we played four rare Liliana for double infest. I just had a heart attack. For some reason, I thought that was going to kill me, and I was like, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I just started panicking. Once you lose, you can change your deck. No, I mean, like... Never. If you're the king, you can't change anything about your deck until you lose. Okay, we have game one. Uh, Fermenter versus Knight. Fermenter is using Kaya. Garrett is being used by Knight. Fermenter drops the Elite Vanguard swings to immediately trigger. The Kai ability starting a very aggressive opening here. And drops the Kaya's Enforcer to be followed up. She's very strong. Then Rotting Bam Rotting Dude. The uh the Rotting Beast Dude, 3 5 for 3. Smoke the Dawn on the Kaya's Enforcer, putting it swing up for 3. But he realizes it's not quite enough damage because he needs to deal 4 damage for it to trigger Kai's ability, which is going to be a likely key for Fermenter to win the game. And we have the Somber Spirit, which is just a much better tempo player. But he's going to allow speakers to kill the Enforcer, which he could have swung the Enforcer, but it wasn't good. So now he basically can attack with the zombie rotting beast dude for plus one, no matter what here. And that's pretty good here. Fermenter just swinging in to see if the rotting is blocks, and it does. It already trade up, which is of course good for Knight here. And then he drops the chapel guys and he goes to not hit well. But 
Uh, looks like Knight is going to go for a Tusk or a Shrug match to be able to trade up. Uh, I personally would not have done that. I would have actually done the Bone Club Shambler, axed it, and then done the Shrug match just so I get the Shambler trigger and keep the Tusk or in. There's Portly and a Samish Bean, which is big Portly. 5-5 five, five, Portly. Very strong. Drop the club. And looks like Bailoff. And he's gonna act the Bailoff over. So five through trampler. So it can return to block uh swing over the courtly and trade later. Courtly swinging for five, pushing knight fourteen. And uh, a lot of it depends on what he gets. Looks like he's doing Bloodlord here, which puts Knight down to 11, puts another 5 5 on the board. It's very strong. Uh, it's not looking good for Knight here. Uh, he's dropping the Fae Lock, and the Rotting Baboon. That's what it is, it's a Rotting Baboon. Uh, depends. Uh, he's just gonna take it. That seems fine. Sand Machine's worth at least one damage. And it's really hard for Knight to trade up here. So he does have two blockers for the five hours. Two. And he's dropping four to the zone. He's gonna foul one of Bailoff, which lets him get close to a free swing here. Unless Knight's just forced to downgrade a couple of the creatures. Yeah. He's gonna block the Portly, trade, and then downtrade the Trampler, leaving the Blood Lord on board without taking any damage here, except for the one damage. But then he has to cut down to take out the Portly and drop the Spirit. Briarhorn's a really strong draw here. It does block everything well. And he could just drop the uh, the Baboon too. But the the Briar is likely better and it's more mana efficient. But he's definitely eyeing the Baboon as a choice. Okay, well there's the Briarhorn. Which is definitely a lot better. A lot of it comes down to what Tormentor can top deck here. But Briarhorn's definitely a strong play here. It is bigger than all of Knight's creatures. Or bigger than all of Tormentor's creatures. But he's kind of forced block here. And there's Vanguard. So foul off the top. That's pretty good. You can drop the Baboon. And if Silent Strike the uh, Briarhorn, that would be pretty powerful. And yep, Silent Strike, swing, put some damage on the board, drop from Metro to 15, and slay the Baboon. Now he has these as two blockers for Fermenter's two creatures. But the second cutdown here would be pretty good if he had. Looks like he has a Blood Chalice. Uh, it doesn't particularly help much here, and the Flagrant Foul is just definitely strong against the, uh, anything that you go chat. Uh, Knight's just gonna swing. I don't blame him. There's really no reason not to just swing here. There's the block. Kind of makes it sense to block there. There's the second block. Now he has the first bearer. He definitely turned this around. First bear is dropping as a 5-3 with Trample. And then there's the Defense of Roots. Do two damage, but there's the Bell Curse. And if he axes up, first bear is not looking good for Fermented here. Bell Curse actually gets to stay on board as a 5-1 as well. And Knight has the flavor foul for any creature that's meant to draw, and that's just gonna put it away. 
at the foul for the curse bearer, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it. And Knight wins the first game of this King of the Hill tournament. So now we have round two. Knight is still king, so now he plays against our uh, Karma, and Karma's playing Ashgot. Knight is forced to continue playing Garrett, which is fine. He mulls everything, keeps the baboon, gets a double grudge match. Uh, one thing to remember, these are modified starter decks, so you can expect like a crazy amount of power, but only having one creature isn't particularly good for Knight. And he doesn't have any play until turn 3 minimum. See what kind of uh, Ashiok Karma B switches for. He might have just put in boss or something. But that could have that could make the game completely dead. So there's a Jagger Claw. Uh, I think he's just get yeah, he's gonna wall speakers here. That's a good trade. For no reason the Ashiok starter deck is just really aggressive. And there's a Welcome Tarn, just another flyer. And there's the Baboon. He's got to get something on board, and I mean, next turn, uh, assuming Karma drops another creature, it's just going to get Velkers. Yeah, there's a second Welcome Tarn, so those are probably both going to trade for Velkers here. And then the Baboon's just going to swing in for five. Okay, but there's a call to the wing, so he does get a bird that can swing over. But the double grudge match is gonna be pretty big here. He has double grudge match, he has a briar roll, and he has a wild speaker spray. So he's got a lot of removal in him, as long as he can keep creature on board. But that's show game. That's gonna be a none for me. But Show game is actually not too too bad. Yep, there's a grudge match, so it will actually trade up for the bird and still be able to swim too. And then he just dropped the first bear, which is very strong. And just solid 3-4 trampler for two here. Uh, but looks like uh, Karma got a bell cursed. <laughs> Off the extract here. Uh, that's, uh, that's actually awesome. Uh, however, Knight does have a uh, really good play here. He can play the Briarhorn. Uh, just play the Briarhorn here, right? I think also he's a creature on board anyway. He could have axed it too. I don't think there was really a drawback to axing it, and that one damage could actually matter. But it just gets played turn foul. So, that does suck to me. He's just going to drop more creatures on board. Uh, thinking of whether he wants to axe or not, because the Ashok deck, I believe it has Dream Bloods in it. Uh, there's a Crab, and then Rival Revival. Yeah, that'll give him a 5-4. And there is a Dream Blood, so it does in fact definitely have some blood. But now, Knight can't axe it. But more than likely, he's just gonna go for the grudge match play here. The crab, very strong here. And he gets to wall speakers for free. What he should do is silent strike the bone club, and then he'll let him swing for nine. That would potentially be the game next turn. But he just takes and does seven, and then axes the bone club. Still fine. But uh, instead of being at 9, he's at 11. So you can still put blockers in the way. There's a Flaker and Foul here, though, so I guess it's fine. I think he just swings. Okay, we're going for the Silent Strike here. And the Axe. He is going to swing. And then. There's the trade, which kind of had to happen no matter what here. And that puts Karma to 3. And the first square gets to be a 4 5. And 
there's a shadow stack. And a court leaf. So it does have blockers. There's a zombie and a dire claw. Both of them are now on the top deck. That is an insane top deck here. Uh, depending on what it trades for, if it trades for the courtly, then that's oh, it traded for the courtly. That's stupid. Um, that's yeah, game. Uh, yeah. If it, if it traded for the dire claw, he'd have enough blockers. But yeah, that's uh, Velcro's cubes. Night the game. All right, now we have round three. Knight, still king of the hill, versus Wolf Girl. And Knight has a very aggressive opening hand here. He's got the Baboon and the Tusker, which is very strong early opening turn. The only thing he could get better is having second two drop. He's got removal and a foul. Garrett started at pretty good. Uh, let's see what Wolf Girl's Chomper can do here. Okay, Raging Goblin on one. Every Chandra, even here. Wow. Uh, feels like he has to toss here. Because then he'd have to go uh, Grudge Match 2. That could be good. Very good top deck on the Grudge Match. There's Pilgrim Fox. Uh, they are just swinging, which does prompt the block. But they have the shock to also take it out. Uh, that actually gives Knight no turn two, so we pass back. We're gaffing Firecat. <laughs> and then Wolf Girl is going to swing for four. Just getting on the board. Knight's just keeping like a part advantage kind of level of uh, advantage here. And the Firecat's actually pretty good here. Because it can trade up for the Baboon. And if they have the Bailoff, they'll trade and they'll still take four. Uh, the Tusker feels like the worst play here because he played with Grudge Match the same turn. That's the best one. More than likely, they're forced to trade Baboon for the Fire Cat here. But if Wolf Girl has like a burn through, that'd be insane. Okay, she's just gonna full swing, which means they're gonna trade for the fire cat. And then nice going down to 12. And they just pass with Dora. That's interesting. Yeah. Might just put loads onto the board. There is the flame shot on the Tusker. That's actually very strong here, because uh just be like, do you want to trade and then take two? And that's what's happening here. This girl definitely sitting on the aggressive offensive here. And there's a the Baylock and to the grudge here. As long as he keeps the blockers on board, Knight can turn this around. Okay, there's a Tusker. And a Cannoneer. Uh, so... Knight's kind of forced into this one of Foul or Wild Speakers, or drop something else on the board. I think dropping the P-Foul is probably the stronger play here. Because it can trade for the Cannoneer. And you can also... Uh, I wouldn't act okay. If he acts it, it's really bad. Attacking is bad here too. They would just trade for the cannoneer, and you wouldn't be able to block them. There's a shock. So they can't block the tusker anymore either. They're just short cutter. Ooh, that's very that's really good. That puts Knight down to one. But Knight can pretty much trade for the board here. They're gonna foul, then get a free wall of speaker, and that's 40. Wolf Girl just have 2 3. 
and knight to swing for nine here. But we'll throw got knight on the fence. He's at one. Very precarious situation to be in for knight. Wolf Girl just can take it. Because she just needs any creature that has haste. Shortcut her does it. And yep, Wolf Girl takes down King of the Hill, winning her first game to become the new king. Or queen in this case. Congratulations, Wolf Girl, for taking out Knight. up my nerves you should probably forget me cause i'm terrified you'll get me when i'm at my worst it's not too late to let you know that you're in love with a ghost so Run! Pack up your bags and run. I've, I've seen your decks in the past and when you say meme deck that means competitive meme deck You win with all your meme decks. You just gotta run. I could whisper sweeter things and back to me you'd crawl. Up until your love for strings, but it's not love at all. My ego still provided. I'm not the one who's driving, but I can't find the That's not a boss battle. That's how video games That's work. Yeah, battle. I guess video games. I guess work. that is how video games work. Literally about that. Everyone tell Carmen he's an idiot. Yeah. Need to learn to branch out. Well, friggin' mend is in the basic list. That's pay one mana to gain three health. That's garbage.
I was gonna say, that if he's playing off. Davrio, he has a spell. Like, everybody knows that. That, that way, that way, Knight surely will win. Yep. You know the, the thing that you put in Tell me what's been going on Tell me what's been going on I'm so caught up thinking about myself Never took time to listen Couldn't see that you were going through hell Now you're cold She's a itty bitty spider with a itty bitty letter and a strange jacket round her waist. When she gets a bite, you better run, you better hide, better pull out, you're not worth the chase. Yeah, she might be pretty, but I promise it gets scary. When she wants your daddy and she finds out where you live. Creeping in the shadows, eating poisoned apples. She's nothing like you ever seen. Her mood goes up and down and round and round and ain't no telling what she might do next. Cause she's a itty bitty spider with a itty bitty she might just come for you should always sleep with one eye open you better keep in mind to always look over your shoulder cause when you think you're safe just stay awake she's moving closer cause she's an itty bitty spider with an itty bitty lighter and she might just come for you Cause when 
She's a itty bitty spider with a itty bitty lighter and she might just come for Good job, everybody. Oh, man, that was so close. Even if he had a spell, he still would have killed himself. Yeah, could have done yeah. a draw, though. This is a silly deck, and I'm following the rules. I, I do love Raoul. It's real bad. It's a real bad deck. Get a goblin every single game on turn one. All but one game. Why'd you pull the trigger? You won't find the light in the smoke and mirrors. You're screaming by the night. We lost in the haze. Baby, tell me are you entertained? The same
just breaking down If the lightning comes to strike I'll be the projection on the wall that it lies I care so I Just look into the sky and follow the lights My fate in my own hands came in my eyes Give me the thunder Hear the thunder Cozy thunder Right now Give me the thunder Wushu's chicken is very intimidating Scoop. GG. GG. Franska. Franska? Is that how I said that?
I don't want to see all your magic acts. Just stop playing cards and let me win. <laughs> but that's... Ow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. It's pretty magical, wasn't it?
again So stay with me Together we'll fall apart Nothing, nothing in the world could ever be good Be good again I've been nothing but a girl who really should Be nothing less, don't mess up And don't you tell us so how you actually feel if you do, then they'll cut you right at the heel And it hurts No one can save you It's all on your mind to change, to. And baby, you can really try if you climb your way up Do it on your own when you're shit out of luck Nobody will help if you're flying too close to the sun Cause you're gonna get burned Fool me, so I put my mask on Keep the two of me, gotta keep the nine high Flexing Louis V, yeah, I keep my cash on Stick it true to me, I never had a gas off I'ma pop off, yeah, I said I'll pop off 